How's it going everybody, Dato Doi here with a very exciting video for you all today, as just recently, one of the last two unknown characters for Dragon Ball Fighter's second season pass was leaked. That character of course was Kid Goku from GT. Now we don't actually have any images of the character so far, but we do have a decent amount of information on his toolkit, as well as some hints at stuff they're trying to keep hidden from us. So let's not waste any time and just go ahead and jump into the stuff that we do know about this character. Also a big shout out to Great Furman on Twitter, this dude translates a lot of stuff for Dragon Ball Fighters, including, you know, whole patch notes as of recently. So uh, definitely go follow him if you play this game and like to keep up to date with stuff. Anyway, Goku's level one is Super Kamehameha, pretty standard for the Goku archetype in this game. Only this time when there are two or fewer characters remaining on your team, Goku actually does go Super Saiyan 3, probably resulting in at least a damage boost. And if we're very lucky, maybe some additional properties on the move, but nothing of the sort has been confirmed so far. Also very exciting is that Goku GT's level three is Super Ultra Spirit Bomb. You guys know that on this channel, my favorite part about base Goku is his level 3 being Spirit Bomb, so having Goku GT have a move like that is just super cool. The thing I suspect most people will be excited for though is right down here, Key Blast Power Pull Reverse Kamehameha, which alludes to the fact that there's definitely going to be some mixture here between Goku GT and just plain old Kid Goku. The last little bit of information we have is that he does have another hidden level 3, we don't know what exactly it is, but because of the nature of Goku GT, a lot of people are suspecting that it is that famous transformation that most people were hoping to see in the game in at least some form. But that's pretty much all the concrete information we have on Goku GT as of right now. Initial fan reactions seem to be quite mixed. Some people are unhappy that we got another Goku period. Others are just unhappy that it's Goku GT instead of Kid Goku from Dragon Ball. Personally though, I see it as kind of a nice mix between giving Goku GT a much more impressive versatile moveset while also being able to give him some moves that directly reference Kid Goku, which might be enough in the long run to bring some Kid Goku fans over to Goku GT. As far as as my personal take on the character goes, I've always been pretty partial to Goku GT, I've always really liked his color scheme, and Goku was generally my favorite thing from GT. Unfortunately, they didn't show off what that hidden level 3 was, I do feel like it's pretty obvious that it is going to be like a move that either shortly transforms him or maybe an install into the form we all really want to see, but uh, I think this character will be pretty popular in the eyes of the player base. Of course though, feel free to go down into the comments and let me know what you think about Goku GT, as well as the information about his moves. Set. Moving on though, I want to talk about what this character leak means for Season 2 of Dragon Ball Fighters as a whole. The first thing that we should mention is that with Goku GT out of the way, there's only one more surprise waiting for us in this entire season. The last two characters are Gogeta Blue and Broly, the first two were Jiren and Videl, and now we're just left with one question mark. I've seen a couple of comments from different places wondering how they're going to pair this character with Goku GT, like is it going to be another GT character, or will it just be random? And my thoughts on that is definitely I would not think in pairings anymore. It just doesn't seem like that's something they're doing for this season, uh, although Gogeta Blue and Broly is kind of an exception, but Jiren and Videl doesn't really match up, and I'm not even sure if they're going to release them in pairs anymore, which is my next topic. Showing off Goku GT and Goku GT alone kind of indicates to me that he may very well be releasing alone. It does match up with the old way information was revealed on these characters. It used to be a month of information about upcoming characters, next month characters release next month information, next month release. So now with this leak, this month I feel is the one where we learn about Goku GT, and then sometime in April he'll release. And then next month in May is when we'll learn about the question mark character, and then in June, that's when they'll release. Copy that for July with Gogeta or Broly, and then August release them, etc, etc. And then by the time you reach December, we're already coming to the close of Dragon Ball Fighter's Season 2 World Tour, and going into the next year where the plans are unknown. To me, this seems like it spaces out content enough that it doesn't feel too long between each release of information, but we are getting characters slower. Again, I should reiterate that none of this is confirmed, but with every leak I've seen regarding release dates and information, I definitely feel like this is the way they're going to go. Let me know your thoughts on that down below as well though. So guys, at the end of the video, in the coming days, we can suspect to see our first images of Goku GT, and then we'll probably see him release sometime in April. And that's going to be it for me in this video. Once again though, feel free to go down in the comments and let me know what you think about Goku GT and who you think that next character is going to be. While you're down there, if you like these update videos and want to stick around for more of them when information is released, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And hey, if you want to see me actually playing this game, there should be a few of those videos on your screen as well. I'm Dato Doya. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Man, Goku GT, I'm excited.